Hi, I'm Tim Tyler from Cold Banker Realty in Maplewood, New Jersey, and I'm here with the next installment of my summer market update. I went out, I asked on Facebook, I reached out to some of you and said, hey, what are your questions? And now I'm bringing you some answers. And so, for this video, the question is, how fast are homes really selling? Well, the answer, and this may be a, a, a bit of a theme for this whole series, is it depends. I went out and looked on the MLS yesterday and looked at West Orange, South Orange, Maplewood. There were 117 homes in those three towns that had been on the market for 30 days or less. There were another 48 that had been on the market for 30 days or more. So what we're looking at here is a little less than a third of the market that has been on the market for a month or more, and then about two thirds, a little more, that have been that have been on the market for just you know a few weeks. So you know we've all heard you know the stories, the house down the street that went on the market on Monday. They had two massive open houses, Saturday and Sunday, and it was under contract by the following Monday. Yes, that is happening, but there's still a number of homes that are sitting out there and they're sitting out there for weeks and then months. Why? Well, some of those homes that are coming on the market are actually overpriced. Just even in this market, it's possible to overprice. Those are the homes that are going to sit there for a while and eventually the seller either realizes that they're overpriced or they decide they get tired of it and they take the home off the market. But those homes are the ones that are ripe for that buyer who's sit out there, you've made offer after offer after offer, and you haven't been able to get a home. Those are the ones that you should look at. The assumption is if it's on the market and hasn't sold in three weeks, well, that, you know, it's damaged goods. I don't know if I want to touch that. Well, not really. They may have just come on at the wrong price, and now they may be willing or ready to move on their price. And it's an opportunity for you as a buyer to test them out and see if they're for real. They also may be homes that are, I don't know, a little more dated, a little, you know, not quite exactly what you're looking for. In a market like this, where we have probably four or five hundred people chasing after, what, 160, 175 homes in Maplewood and South Orange, this is a market that requires compromise. You have to take a look at what you can compromise on in location, in size, and price and condition. Somewhere you're going to need to compromise on one of those to get a home in this market. And if you start to look at some of those homes that have been around for a little longer, that might be your opportunity to be, let you be one of those who gets a home. Again, Tim Tyler from Cobalt Maker in Maplewood, New Jersey. And uh, this has been my summer market update. Stay tuned for our next edition.